I'm Patrick from Homemade Grow, and today I want to talk to you about three things. I want to talk to you about what self-watering is, how to, in how to incorporate that into your space bucket, and why you should even have it in your space bucket system. So what is a self-watering system? A self-watering system is a system where the plants actually take in water from the bottom instead of the top. So what you do is you're able to put a reservoir of water on the bottom of the plant and using a wick, the water will travel up the wick and percolate into the soil of the plant and the water will go up. So the benefits of this is that you won't have nutrient runoff, your plant will be evenly watered from the bottom to the top so the roots will uh, grow downward towards the water and overall, it creates plants that are much healthier. How you can convert your space bucket into a self-watering system. So you need a set of materials to do so. First, you need half of a bucket. This will act as a reservoir for water. You need an X-Acto knife, duct tape, rope, a permanent marker, a sharpie, a soldering iron, and a small cup. You can use a container or, or anything that's around this size. Okay. So now if you have all your materials, the first thing you want to do is uh, get your space bucket. For typical designs of a space bucket, it's similar to this with uh, drainage holes on the bottom, like these. What you want to do first is take your bottom base bucket with the drainage holes, take your cup, and draw a, a hole on the bottom of your cup, just uh, more narrow than the, the diameter of the, the, the opening of your cup, just so that when you put it in, it doesn't fall through. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna cut the hole just a little smaller. So take your X-Acto knife, I'm cutting it just within this the circle that I drew. After you cut the hole, your cup should fit right in. So, okay. so it'll be like this. Mm -hmm. So next, you want to take your cup. soldering iron. Okay. Just cut a few holes just so water can get in. So after you have your uh, cup ready, you want to add tape on the inside of this bucket right underneath the height of the cup. So with the cup inside the bucket, we're going to tape rope right on the outside so that the your bucket the watering hole can fit right above it and once the cup is through this hole it'll touch the bottom of this reservoir bucket so let's do that right now take your rope okay. measure a strand about a third of the circumference of your bucket and cut it with the exacto knife You'll need two of these strands of rope. You're gonna tape it on opposite ends of the bucket so that it can act as a uh, support for the for your space bucket and the reservoir hole. So take your rope. Take it 
take some duct tape. Flat. Put your rope on the duct tape. Now, put your bucket on the side and tape it to the inside. Your other piece of rope. Put on top of the duct tape. On the opposite end of where you tape the first piece of rope, stick the second piece of rope. Now you should have rope taped to the side of your reservoir bucket. This will prevent your top bucket from falling in. It'll act as a support. So once you tape the rope, it should look like the following. Once, when you have your uh, bucket and you put it on, on top of the reservoir bucket, this cup should be touching the bottom of the bucket, of your reservoir bucket. It should be secure. You should have a little gap on the side from your main bucket to the reservoir bucket. The last thing you want to do is to cut a hole so that you can add water from the, from the bottom of uh, this reservoir bucket. So this hole act as a, a place where you can add water and prevent you from flooding the top bucket. So any water that is added above that hole will drain out of this, the hole. So what you wanna do first is get a Sharpie and figure out where the bottom of your, where the hole should be. This hole should be a little bit lower than where you taped the rope, okay? So on the outside, a little bit below of where you taped the rope, that's where you wanna draw a one inch hole. So that distance in my bucket is, it's about three inches. I am gonna draw a hole at two and a half inches because my cup is three inches. So, a hole, two and a half inches. And I'm going to draw a, about a one inch hole. So, so I'm gonna cut that out with my exacto knife. So you can use this hole to add water to your reservoir. So once you're all done, it goes on top. 
you'll take your cup and you'll fill it with soil. Like so. And make sure it's packed. Push it in the cup. It's just gonna act as a wick. So, and place it in the hole. So you'll take your grow bag, whatever you're using to hold your plant, and as long as this soil touches something that can wick into the soil of your plant, the water will travel from the bottom of your reservoir up into your plant. So we're using a fabric grow bag all this has to do is touch the soil. Okay, you press it down, and as long as it's touching the soil, everything in here will get wet. And that's it. That's how you convert your space bucket into a self-watering system. This will help you evenly water your plant and force the roots to grow downwards towards the water. So hopefully you'll get a more rich uh, root structure. So if you like this video, like it or subscribe to our channel. We'll, have, we'll be having more updates on different ways that you can modify your buckets and even some on growing.